Okay, let's go over how to draw Fire Godzilla. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Stay for the whole video and uh, let's get started. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to pull outward kind of for the snout area of Godzilla. Curve around the side there. Pulling down. Kind of around the lip right here. Pulling curve. And I'm going to be pulling back over here in this area. Back over here. Kind of along the mouth. Up over here. He's going to make kind of a snarling thing we got going on. Up over here. Kind of for the... Basically where the eyes are going to go up into kind of the top of the skull over here. Over here. Back of the head. And then it's going to kind of taper out into like a large neck, right? Like this version of Godzilla has a large neck. Downward right here. And I want to have the teeth exposed a little bit because I want him to kind of be gritting his teeth. Downward here, pull back. Dang, my marker's not going well. Alrighty. Let's go around here on the corner. Downward. Curve underneath. I have a new channel. It's called Kaiju King. Go check it out. I'm going to put nothing but Kaiju stuff if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Back over here, angle up. Let's go over here. So his neck is really huge. So we're going to draw a line here. Down right there, it's going to get bigger. Down right here. Up. Line right there for the eye. Curve right here. Let's go over here for the nasal cavity right there. The, no the nose, the nostril. And... We draw a little spike right there in the back, and it's going to get a little bit bigger, right? They're like little mountains. And it's going to vignette off, meaning it's going to it's gonna move off the page. Let's go over here now. Line here, up, right here. Wants to be gritting his teeth. So we're going to have this kind of back and forth area here. Maybe around this area, you're going to see his gum line a little bit. Really makes it look like he's kind of snarling there, like, you know, thumbs up. Go right here for the cheek bone area. Kind of keep that going. Line underneath, right there, kind of like that bag into the eye, which really makes it look realistic. I notice when we kind of, when you're drawing creatures like this, drawing that kind of like bag into the eye a little bit really makes a huge difference. Curve over here for the back of the jaw. Curving in and line down. We're going to pull a line right here. It's going to be kind of this vein area. It's basically, uh, I don't know if you, it looks like a vein, but it's kind of like the line right here that separates kind of the back to from the neck, kind of fleshy portion of the neck. Although he does have, you know, uh, scales like all over his body, right? All right. A lot of this stuff now is going to be detail-oriented. Maybe a line right there for kind of where his ear is going to be. And don't forget, if you're really interested, if you want to take this to the next level, if you really want to learn good, like really good, if you want to draw Godzilla in your sleep just really well, like solid, go get the ebook. The ebook is kind of for people that want to take it to the next level that are really serious. Let's just say you're drawing Godzilla and it's like, oh, it doesn't look right. Oh, it doesn't look right. You know, maybe the head's crooked or something like that. It's going to solve all that stuff. It's a free PDF. Go check it out in the description if, you know, it's like your thing. Because uh, I know for some people it was really requested. Curve over here on the nostril, back. And we want to make him fiery, right? So uh, he's got a couple of, oh, man, it's kind of glowy. But since we're working with marker, we're going to make it like right here. This kind of. We want them to kind of glow, but see this line right here? It's a little jaggedy, and we're trying to make it. We're trying to make it um, random. You know, we want that glow because we're working in line right here. So I want to make it like random. I'm moving this around, right? I know it's kind of hard to be like I'm gonna be random now. It's kind of hard to say that, right? You just have to be uh, random. <laughs> but it looks like he's kind of powering up there. All right couple of little lines and try to keep those lines a little bit thinner. Maybe right here as well. Thinner. Because the thinner because these are detailed oriented lines. Okay. Let's put another spike right here. I think he needs it. A couple of little lines in the front there. A couple of little lines in the back. 
Uh, he's got these gills over here on his neck. And if you want, you can draw thin, thin lines. Other than that, kind of like he's got that snake belly kind of look to him. I'm going to be drawing on this channel every Tuesday and Thursday, by the way. Don't miss out. I want you to say what's up to me in the comment section if you can hear me. Um, and I've started doing other stuff. I'll put my other socials so you can check it out. There's Easy Pictures to Draw, which is the main channel. Uh, there is Kaiju King, which is another channel. And there's also uh, Quick Pictures to Draw, which is basically uh, drawing everything on that channel, but there's no commentary. It's not me talking over it. Uh, some people just kind of request it. I kind of do a simplified version of it. So a simplified you know, channel where I don't talk. So that's kind of what that is. I'm not going to talk too much on the Kaiju King one too, unless it's requested. Um, some people just kind of enjoy watching the videos. Curve, curve, curve. Line over here. We want it to be, we want it to grit, right? So we're going to draw that curve right there around his mouth. It's kind of like, like I'm angry, right? Yeah, it shows that grit, grit. But, uh, we draw a couple of, uh, what's it called? Maybe some dark lines over here. Like so. And there we go. Let's, mm, no, well, let's keep going. Let's get some dark over here on the eyes. All right? Throwing dark around the eyes definitely emphasizes uh, kind of looking at the eye because I don't know if you know this or not, but when you're trying to look for somewhere where you want the viewer to look, you want the contrast to be a little bit higher. The dark, where the darkest dark meets the lightest light. And, you know, generally you want at least one around the eye because the eye is the window to the soul. And, uh, you know, tend to look at, you know, eyes like that. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you're having a great time. Like I said, download that ebook if you really want to get a handle on this stuff. If you've been drawing Godzilla for a couple of years and you're like, dang it's not looking right i give you the pretty much bio scientific thing about like this angle this angle this angle and this is how you do it um but check that out uh like i said it's free for like a limited time i'm not gonna make it free forever all right okay let's keep going in just a little bit more so we can throw some little lines right here you can kind of keep going on this that's what's cool about it you can kind of keep going give it more detail it's kind of like a bonus area Share the video with your friends if you can. The channel is going to be dormant up until Halloween, so hopefully you are awesome, right? Which you are, but hopefully you, uh, you know, stick around right here for this channel and the other ones. Thanks so much. Stay right there. We're going to go into another drawing lesson, okay? Let's go into another dress drawing lesson right now. Okay, so that was amazing. You finished this lesson, but keep it going. Keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here. It's going to be within the same theme and you want to keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.